It's dope. <laughs> Anything that's weird is dope to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I like being a creep in, 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 in the video because it literally shows people to be themselves. Yeah, you're you know? not a creep. Even if, if people depict me as that, it's pretty cool. You're like, as long as they're thinking of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You water my plant. Huh? It's All up. right, so we're recording. Um. <laughs> so... Mikey, one of the reasons I wanted to sit down with you mm -hmm. is because I feel like you're a great person and you have a lot of great attributes that you could share with a lot of people, yeah. but also you've been very successful in all the, the venues you've tried out, like professional soccer and now with your music and your rapping and yeah. stuff, and you just have so much charisma. <laughs> My rapper. <laughs> Uh, and that's just it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's unedited, raw and unedited, right? Yes, yes. And this is us raw just hanging out. <laughs> Chilling. Okay, so so what would you say? Wait, what, what, what do you have in that? Like, do you have a little card? SD yeah, card? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We could edit it right now. I could do it for you quick. Let's edit but it's, it called, really but cool. it's called raw and unedited. No, I know. You we can cut right edit it. Really cool. I'm talking about it, Cindy. Like we're just sitting here, you're chilling like that. We're talking. I'll let's take just the put video it. and you get. We'll you, we'll edit it tonight. Yeah, okay? let's do that, Cindy. I'm not even kidding. Her, Daddy, so really so cool so we'll do one. Like we're just chilling here, like talking, like like nothing. Like you can invite people to yeah, talk about their lives. Yeah, you guys be yourself, and I'll just hold the camera. Yeah, <laughs> we're just we're just talking. It's a different from there though, just because it's my side right here. <laughs> 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 it's still recording. Yeah, you yeah. didn't put this like before. Yeah, or like <laughs> after. This is all so funny. <laughs> That's it, just. Well, yeah, it's, it's, this is us unedited. <laughs> <laughs> Raw and yeah. unedited. Okay, we, we can make an edited video and I have to put edited. Cause okay. Not, Cause that's my yeah. thing is unedited. So I can't just like throw one in there that's edited. But I can have like well, a section. Well, you can tell when it's edited. Yeah. I can edited. have like another <laughs> section of like, cause I want to do something that's really straight to the point. Yeah. And my mind doesn't really work like that, but that's not the point of my other ones. But I do want to have some where it's very to the point, very short, very. Yeah. But. So you can help me with that. Okay. But for now, mm -hmm. I want to know what is your secret <laughs> so with lively. becoming so successful so quickly in in your passions? Um, work. That's there's there's no secret. There literally is no secret. I actually Jessica. I don't know if Jessica knows, but I literally used to there, there was a time that i like worked very hard to become a professional soccer player i worked too hard like it was every single day don't care about nobody like sacrifice everything until you want like until you get something you want mm -hmm. that's literally how it works and then after soccer i lost that because i was i was not confident i was scared because once you are so high and you fall it's scary, you know, you don't know mm -hmm. what to do, like, mm -hmm. you fall into this deep depression and you just don't like yourself because you, you're not who you want to be. Mm -hmm. So I used to literally Google and be like, how can I become successful quick? <laughs> you know, you Google that, like, how can I make money quick, mm -hmm. like fast? And I spent, I think, I spent more time searching that up than I worked. And as soon as it might, like... I, I, I have to be humble again and understand that it's like, you're gonna fall, like it's okay. But every, like, the number one secret of things is just work. Uh -huh. The secret is that there's no secret. You know, it's just work, 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 work until you can't no more. And then one day it's just like you're there. Uh -huh. It happens, but it just doesn't happen. You work and then it just happens. You know what I mean? And even if it does happen, like you said with the soccer, mm -hmm. like, you put your whole life into it and then to come to find out like you don't know you don't yeah you and do. you know why this is why because i thought the becoming a professional mm -hmm. soccer my whole life was going to make me happy mm -hmm. and i forgot that you're supposed to already be happy mm -hmm. like i have this theory that it's like i was born with happiness but i forgot to protect it mm -hmm. you know a lot of a lot of us we have this we already are happy when we grow up but it's like we let friends destroy our happiness we let 
people we don't even know destroy our happiness. We let even love destroy our happiness. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, like the number one thing you protect is happiness. So now I know that it's like, okay, I was going out, I thought my whole life, I'm going to become a professional soccer player and I'm going to be happy. Mm -hmm. I got there, I was still not happy. Mm -hmm. So what the hell is the problem, you know? Mm -hmm. And then now I know that it's like, yo, I'm happy now where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Wherever I'm at right now, I'm happy. So when I get there, I'm going to just keep working. Mm -hmm. And I'm always happy. So it's like I can move from this to this and I'm happy. So it's like I'm happy because I work. It's weird. You know what I mean? And well, you have, you're putting your energy into something and you're creating and you're able to like read the benefits right away. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, one day I'll be a professional soccer player. It's like, exactly. I just, I just made this beat. Exactly. I just thought of these lyrics. And I'm happy right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I won't be happy later. It's like, I'm happy right now doing this right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy. I'm not thinking, oh, I'll be happy until I get a Porsche, mm -hmm. until I get a Grammy, until I get my first hit. Mm -hmm. No, I'm happy right now. That is just going to help me to be more happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're attracting what you're putting it, out. And if you're saying I'm grateful and I'm blessed, then the universe is like, okay, great. Let's keep, let's keep giving yeah, them more. Let's keep giving them more. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like it's just a, a matter of time and work. But like I said, a long time ago, it was scary though, because if you get too into work, you do make those crazy sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't have to really. You just gotta work like like crazy, but give time for what you really love. You know what I mean? So live your life too. Exactly. Don't revolve your whole life around work. Uh, -uh because then, once you look back, you got it. But once you look mm -hmm. back, oh my God, I'm here alone. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't matter. You're alone. Or like with your soccer, how like you put your whole life into soccer, and then when you found out it wasn't what you wanted, you had nothing else. I had nothing else, and I spent a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even even I didn't have my girlfriend. I spent a year trying to find myself and learn to be humble mm -hmm. and understand that it's like I used to be scared to show that I wasn't that soccer player anymore. Mm -hmm. My friends used to come over and be like, they would see me and be like, "Yo, what happened?" And I would be like, "Oh, you know, uh, I'm work I'm looking for a team. I'm you know," and I was lying to them. Mm -hmm. You know, why? And then I looked at myself and I was like, why are you lying to them? Look at their face and said, this is what happened. Life goes on. And then all of a sudden it was switched. Like, mm -hmm. it was quick. I feel like people, even living, a, a, that was living a fake life. You know, mm -hmm. it's like living a fake life will kill you. Mm -hmm. It will destroy you because it's harder to keep up the lie than actually getting somewhere. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like once you are so honest, you get places quick mm -hmm. because you everybody knows and you don't have to cover anything it's mm -hmm. just here 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 and then all of a sudden you're there and they're like whoa you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. so nobody is expecting anything from you so you have mm -hmm. to be yourself 100 mm -hmm. anywhere and be true to yourself and never lie like mm -hmm. i feel like that is the number one thing never lie that's never yeah lie. that's my motto too mm -hmm. because it, you lie Maybe no one catches you. You lie another time, another time. Someone's gonna catch you, Someone. and then, and then, and then your word no longer means anything, mm -hmm. and all the truths that you told are no longer valid. Mm -mm. Like you're only worth as much as your word, mm -hmm. and especially in a time where there's a lot of fakeness, honesty is extra you know, special. You know why honesty is so beautiful nowadays? Hmm. Because in the era of social media. Somebody, someday, will catch you lying. Mm -hmm. It's inedible. Mm -hmm. Like, it will happen. It will happen. You know what I mean? That's why I believe that if you're not honest, especially on social media, it will happen. And then you will get hurt. And a lot of people will, like, even that's why there's so much suicide. There's so much depression going on because these people are lying to people. And then... They're not really who they are. Mm -hmm. So then, who are you if you're not yourself? Well, and what's the point of living a fake life, of pretending exactly. to be happy, pretending? That's so much energy when you could actually be spending that time and energy finding what does make you happy mm -hmm. and who you really are. Like, and then people like you. Exactly. Which is so weird. It's like, just, you stop trying to be liked and people will because, start liking because you. Because the, the, then, like, the universe comes to you because it feels the energy that is real. The universe will literally... 
it just goes with what's real. Mm -hmm. That's why we were me and me and Jessica were talking about uh, Jeffrey Star. Mm -hmm. Like that guy, even when he it was not okay to be so gay and so open and so like just out there, he was that. Mm -hmm. Now he's making millions. He's loved by so many people because it was different and it was so genuine. You know what I mean? It was so, so real and people love real. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it's, it's just it's a rare, it's a rare thing nowadays for, you know, like, get, like even, you know, Gary Vee, mm -hmm. he says something that it's like, a lot of people see a post on Instagram mm -hmm. and they're like, oh my God, that guy is living the best life. He's traveling, he doesn't have a job, he, nobody tells him what to do. But they don't understand that most of those people are rich kids who have a, like a, a like a, if something bad happens, I'm okay, fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then other people want to do that and they don't understand. It's like, you don't have a fun. You don't have a, if something happens, I'm okay, fun mm -hmm. from your parents. So you got to get screwed. And then you end up in the, in Cuba with no money, with a nice picture of a nice background, but you're depressed because you can't go nowhere after that. You're screwed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what people don't understand. And it's like, but they got the nice picture. Mm -hmm. they, everybody, all their friends, they're, they're, they're happy. You know, they think mm -hmm. they're happy. But they're, they're just in Cuba doing nothing because, you know, they thought that that was the life. Mm -hmm. And that's a big problem, I think, nowadays. People don't understand. You know? They're out to get the picture. Exactly. Instead of, like, that real thing. Like, There's I people actually jumping fences to go to a jet to say I'm about to get on a jet. There's actual people like that on social media. And what do you think that the pressure is coming from for those people to feel like that that's necessary? The like I said, the people that already have those things and it's okay if like anything happens because they'll be okay. Mm -hmm. You won't. Like if you don't have millions of dollars yet, you won't. You know what I mean? They will, you won't. You know, so it's like it's scary to see that though. A lot of kids, especially, they just, they they're trying to be something that they think they will be happy, but they get there and they're not. So now it's just this scary place that I know myself that I wouldn't wish on nobody. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean? because then it's like you you spent a lifetime trying to find something you think you love, and then you spend twice a lifetime trying to be yourself again mm -hmm. so it's like it's messed up you know what i mean it's like why not just start here and go here and stay there instead of just mm -hmm. go here and then be like but here was better you know what i mean so it's like well it's kind of like how i feel about my videos like watching them and saying well, that's not the image that I have in my head of where I want to be. Yeah. But that's me in the future that I see. That's me having yeah. have made hundreds of videos and having yeah. to practice and even getting used to it. That's that's that. And so I have to look at where I'm at with acceptance and, and like and gratitude and mm -hmm. like a little bit of a like leeway for me to be a little bit, you know, self-conscious and stuff still exactly yeah. because i'm not there yet mm -hmm. and had to be okay with that so what i'm taking from what you're saying is it's kind of the same thing with just being like okay that can be your dream and that can be your goal and but don't try and fake that you're already there yeah, no. because you're insecure about where you're at just be okay with where you're at the biggest misconception in life that some stupid guy made up was fake it until you make it mm -hmm. Oh, that is the worst thing anybody can ever do, you know, because it will literally, like I said before, it will kill you. It will destroy your, you know, like I told you, somebody's going to put you out there and then you're going to look stupid. And then you're going to try to hide that lie. And then it's going to take energy and time to hide that lie, uh, the lie mm -hmm. when you can just be working on yourself instead of working on someone who you have never even met. That's mm -hmm. someone like not yourself. That's not who you see yourself in the mirror. You know what I mean? Like a long time ago, even in soccer, I used to, every time I went to a new team, I used to want to be that guy who's just chill, quiet. Mm -hmm. Because I thought that it's what people like. The quiet guy, 
the calm guy that's like, nobody mess with me. Like, I am the guy here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then I would always end up being the crazy guy, the loud guy that is just like fun, you know? And I would be like, why doesn't it happen? It's like, because it's hard to keep up alive. Mm -hmm. I am not that person that's going to be there and just be like, so quiet and so calm. It's like, I'm really that guy that just wants to express myself and I'm so passionate about things. So it's like, you know what I mean? Which is a gift that you have for the world too, your passion. Mm -hmm. And you can, that's probably why you're such a good soccer player. And that's why you're such a good artist is because you're able to manifest that passion yeah. into something visible or, you know, audible, something that people can actually experience. Yeah. And like, like even like, like you said that it's like, it takes time. You know what I mean? Like right now you might talk about, speak about a, a subject mm -hmm. and you won't do it right. Mm -hmm. Like there's a beauty in failing and messing up. Mm -hmm. This is so beautiful. People don't understand how nice it is. Like, I secretly, I told Jessica, I'm secretly happy that I didn't get where I wanted to be in soccer. Mm -hmm. In my soul, I'm happy because I still have time to get there and be happy mm -hmm. again. I love just getting to a place, I got it. Okay, mm -hmm. what's next? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like staying there It's like, what now? No, no, no. I like getting there and say, like, what's next? Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's like, a, it's a journey that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the like... Oh, dang it. I didn't get that right. I'm going to have to do it three times again. That's the beautiful part. People forgot to love. People just want, like, because they see so much success going on. They see so much success going on nowadays that they, people want quick. Mm -hmm. They forgot that it's beautiful, like, messing up a hundred times mm -hmm. before that 101, something happens. Something clicks. Mm -hmm. They forgot that. You know what I mean? They feel like something's got to click fast. It's, it's not. Well, and they're usually doing something they don't like, exactly. and so they're wanting to get over it as fast as possible. But if you like it, trying it again and again if isn't like the it. worst thing ever. Yeah. Like if this this is uh, I heard a quote once that uh, I'm I don't, I'm not sure if I can say how they said it, but it was like if you are not doing something, if you are doing something that you don't love, somebody who does will come and beat the hell out of you. Yeah. It will push you out quick mm -hmm. because they will go through those hard days when it's like, if you don't love it, you gotta go through those hard days, you'll be like, oh man, I'm done. I can't mm -hmm. do this. But if you love it, mm -hmm. there'll be a time that those days will come and you should be like, I hate this. And then all of a sudden it's gonna, something's gonna hit you and be like, whoa, no, 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 you love this. It's like, oh yeah, I mm -hmm. do, huh? And then you keep going, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you have to love whatever you do. Mm -hmm. And I like, like I told Jessica, it's like, I'm doing something right now for the purpose of something bigger. I never, I'm, I'm not just here, like I'm not stuck, like I might be here, but I love being, uh, doing two things at the same time, three things at the same time, so it's like, I might be here, but it's like, I'm working for that, mm -hmm. like, I want that, and once I get it, then I want that, and I will never finish, I just love the grind, I love the, the, the road there, mm -hmm. I don't love getting there, I feel like it's lonely once you get somewhere, and that's not good, I want to get there and destroy the whole house, and build it again. That's what I love. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I love the the passion you have and the realness of failing and losing. Because that's real. Mm -hmm. You know, like winning goes it goes fast. But losing, it stays here. Well, and it teaches you valuable lessons. Yeah. And so you're like, okay, I didn't do that right. Now I know not to do that. Maybe I'm going to try this. And you, then keep going. I don't know if, if you notice, but you never learn when you win. When you win, it's just it's a it's a it's a satisfying moment that you don't need to learn from that. It's just, hmm, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But when you lose, that's when it's like, okay, I should have done this, this, this. Mm -hmm. It stays with you forever. I don't. I really can't like if we if we think about soccer, I can never recall the times where like that we won, like the times that we lost. Mm -hmm. Those hurt, and I remember those. And because of those memories, my life seems longer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, there's a beauty in losing that people forgot. It's hard. It's, it's scary to feel like I did that wrong. I, I was wrong. Yeah. And then to be able to step back from that and it's like, well, one time, two times. Like, exactly. that doesn't mean that you're wrong. Like, you, you, can, you can mess up and if you learn, if you get back up, then there's no problem to it. There's nothing, there's no shame to that. No. But it feels like 
oh my gosh, I should be ashamed, so ashamed moment, right now because you know I, mean? I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah. But like, like you said, that's just like you need to appreciate that too, and yeah, be yeah. that part of, part of the journey, and be happy in those moments as well. Mm -hmm. Which is really tough, but if you can, then you can do anything. Yeah. Like I feel, the biggest thing why I feel like even locally, even in Utah, why I feel like being an artist is so beautiful to me because mm -hmm. coming up as a soccer player I never like that was my first time trying to become something mm -hmm. so when you are trying to do something for the first time you've never been successful everything is so stressful everything is it's pain you know what I mean it's mm -hmm. it's a hassle it's like oh and you don't get it but I felt like once I got there when like I got to a place where so many people wanted to be, then now I fell back to the ground. Now everything is so much clearer. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Before it was like, oh, but now it's like, you can do it, guys. I already did it once. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy though, because even though I already did something, people still tell me, no, you can't. It's impossible. Like, what are you doing? And even though I already made something possible, even though it's like the same story, it's like, I, I already made something happen that was impossible. Mm -hmm. So what can, stops you like from doing that again? Mm -hmm. It's, I don't care if they tell me to be at, if I really love to be an astronaut right now, mm -hmm. I swear to you, Sydney, I would go and become an astronaut. I because it's just like, that's how I, it, I was built in that journey. And that's, mm -hmm. the journey built me like that. It's not like, I wasn't like that. I just became like that because I lost so many times that I became a believer in winning. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like by losing so many times. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's crazy that somebody, they still look at me as a, oh, I don't think you're going to be able to get there when I already got somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So to me, it's funny because it's like, trust me, I'll get there. So you had this dream of becoming a professional soccer player mm -hmm. and people had doubts and you just, you just said, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Exactly. And then you did. Exactly. So now that people are saying like, oh, your music career hot. And you're like, you're like this <laughs> the same the, thing. The same. Like, you told me this 12 years ago about the soccer. It's like, it's like uh, deja vu. Literally, yeah. I call it deja vu because I'm like, you told me this. Like, you know, the same people that told me that I wasn't going to be a, a professional soccer player mm -hmm. are the same people that are telling me that I won't be a big artist. And I'm like. Why are they still talking to you? Exactly. <laughs> Why are you like, still in my I'm life? Just like, <laughs> I'm just like, wait, just wait. And then that's why I decided to go away for so many people mm -hmm. because people can't comprehend until they see it. Well, and you, you, there was a little gerbil or something. Oh, no, you guys yeah, have a yeah, gerbil. I was normal. like, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <That's> <laughs> in the corner of my head. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, He's um, yeah. And he went into that door. Anyways. Oh, you got scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. This is a little animal. That? <laughs> okay. What was I even saying? That's, that's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, I think it's success or something. Oh, no, about doing it again. It's like deja vu. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, people, it's not like they, they don't want you to fail either. Like, yeah. they want to protect you. Oh, exactly. So they're like, hey, I need to let you know exactly. how hard that is because and how impossible that because is. Because they can't do it. And I, they're scared to do it. I understand yeah. 100% because every person that told me before that I couldn't do it never made it nowhere. Mm -hmm. So I know this might sound like, you know, like maybe an asshole or something, but it's true. You never made it. So Don't say no, that. No, it's, it's true. You, you are like, I'm, I know I might offend some people, but it's like, you can't tell me. I can't make it when you've never made it. You mm -hmm. can't tell me. When you've never, like, gotten to this level. Because, I, Cindy, I've been down, down, and I've been very up. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't talk to me. You can't tell me something is impossible when I know what it is to be very low. And I know what it is to be very up. You know? Like, I, I've been when somebody says, you... You're done. Mm -hmm. You can no longer play soccer here. Crush my dream. And I've been where there's been thousands of people screaming my name because I just made him so happy. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and so you get there and you've been down here 
that's when you can probably come and tell me like, oh, it's, it's not possible. And, I, and I'll maybe well, listen to you, but I'll still won't care. Because well, even no matter where they've been, they don't know what's possible for you or exactly. not. Exactly. They, they can't tell you. And what is their intentions for telling you that? What could someone possibly, exactly. like, I need to go out of my way to warn this person <laughs> that they might fail, which we just talked about is learning lessons. Because they're I better prevent them from learning any of these lessons. Exactly. Because their capacity of believing is so small because they've never been there. Like, if I told you right now, um, if you didn't know there was a uh, uh, Europe, like if you mm -hmm. didn't know there was a continent called Europe, you've never been there, and I just stumbled to go there, and I, I found it, and I'm like, there is one. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like, no, there's not, and you don't have uh, nothing, you know what I mean? So it's like, they don't believe in that. They don't. Well, that, and that's not everyone though. Like some people, they don't have to reach there to be able to believe in it. But yeah. if someone can't believe in their own dreams mm -hmm. enough to make it happen, how do you expect them to believe in your dreams? Exactly. Because you, you know who you are and what you're led to and it, what your passions are. And that's why you become, you know, you believe that you can do mm -hmm. something more because you've seen it. Yeah. You may be with foresight or just, just your imagination, but you've seen it so exactly. clearly. You're like, no, I know this can happen. And it's at that point, it's important not to tell too many people yeah, unless you know that they're going to just be like, okay, that's what you want, and then support it. Even, yeah. if they, they, even if they can't believe it or not, if they're just willing to, be, to listen and say, hey, like, that's a cool dream. Let me know if I can help. Yeah. Like, keep me updated on your progress. Like, that sounds awesome. That's all someone needs to give you. Yeah. You know, like, hey, hey, yeah, that's like, you should follow your dreams. Mm -hmm. No matter what that dream is. And I'll be here to support you because I love you. Yeah. And that's why I feel like I tell everybody that I meet that it's like, just keep going. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And I, I am so into, like, just putting in your brain. Like, anybody that starts talking. I'm a weird person like that. That Anybody that starts talking about a dream or a goal, I'm always like, go. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. You know, because I believe in myself so much that I want others to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it gets, like, really, like... Oh, too oh, your OD are like yo, too much, but it's because I believe in it so much. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's why I believe in so much people. I believe in people so much, and if I if I care about you and I love you and I see you want to do something, I will push you and I will try to help as much as I can because, mm -hmm. to me, everything is possible as long as you work hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Literally, is that's the key word: work, 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 work so much that it hurts if you're not working. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like I could have my my my. Uh, you know my day thing that I do, but it hurts me. I'm not making a song. It literally, it's a like, it's like a physical pain that I'm like, bro. You know what I mean? Like I need to be there. What am I doing? You know what I mean? It's it really is a physical pain that you feel that you need to be doing what you love, or else I, I'm the person that I'm depressed if I'm not doing what I'm doing love, and that or if I'm not being myself. So it's like. It's crazy that people like don't want to do what they love and don't want to be themselves. Because to me, that's so foreign. Mm -hmm. That's so like, you know what I mean? Well, that's because you're meant to be one of the ones to help change that. Mm -hmm. And if you, you know, the more influence that you get, the more you can spread your passion yeah. and your belief in dreams and working hard for what you believe in yeah. and making that your main focus. Mm -hmm. And if you... Like, that's one of the things I want to do is find people like you that have talents in other areas, but your main talent is your passion. Your main talent is your ability to believe. Exactly. And so that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video right now is because you have to, that to give to the world. I believe that that's one of the reasons, you know, for you existing. Yeah. It's like you're, you are able to feel that much passion and have that much hope and talk to people in the way that they understand mm -hmm. and be really friendly and motivate other people. That's what I, I've always, I used to, I said once, once I get to some, a place, you know, like once I get to be big or like famous, before soccer, I used to always think, oh, I'm, I'm gonna say screw to everyone. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'd be like, nah, I don't wanna talk to nobody. But now it's so different. I wanna be able to reach as many people as I can. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's our duty as humans to follow our dreams and get there. Like it's it's our responsibility because it's like, I'm here because I saw someone else do it. I'm here because like, like wherever I wanna go, the, this journey I'm here because I've seen people already do it. 
so why can I not be like you know? And if I, I know if I do it, there's gonna be 500 kids or maybe a million kids who are gonna be exactly like me because they will want to be like me. I mm -hmm. know like myself because I saw someone doing it already, and I believed in in whatever I want to do so bad because I saw them believe in it so much mm -hmm. too. So you want to do be that for other kids? Exactly. Be the, be the example that you had growing up, that of possibilities. Exactly. Well, I believe you can do that. Yeah. So, um, what's new with your music and stuff right now? Right now, I'm going to drop an EP called Rolling Stone 2. And it's a beautiful concept that I've been doing. I even have it tatted up here. You know, I got a tattoo of Rolling Stone. Um, I got it when, when I realized in myself that I really was a Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. And that's meaning that I don't have a home in a way that it's like my my dreams, anything, I don't belong nowhere, I'm just a part of the world. That it's like, if I'm doing something, I know that there will be a moment that I'll get, like like I said, a dream, mm -hmm. I'll get there, and that won't be, I already know that that won't be my happiness. It won't be your dream anymore, it's because it's reality. I already have another, yeah. I'm happy with, I, oh. there. Sorry, yeah, I, yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you guys. Uh, ultimate camera bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so it's like, I'm, I, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm already happy. So it's like, what was the question again? <laughs> 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 no, like, um, <laughs> I don't even know either. <laughs> Well, we, we were just wrapping it up, talking about um, your new oh, yeah, album yeah, yeah, that you're yeah, going to yeah. drop so, and stuff. So, Rolling Stone, yeah. my, <laughs> I feel like that's myself, you know, that's my white goal by. I was going through a very, 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 very hard time trying to find myself again. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that when I got this, it was kind of like a, I already found myself. Mm -hmm. And I found myself by not finding myself. I just the path to find yourself led you through all of the misconceptions exactly. that you thought you were exactly to so, like shed them away to like find who was underneath of all that exactly that's why I always say I feel like a Rolling Stone it's been taken out of content so much like you know a rock star who does drugs and mm -hmm. goes and it's crazy and it's like you don't have to a Rolling Stone is just someone who's with endless possibilities mm -hmm. that it can go forever like you don't mm -hmm. have to stay in one place you don't have to just because you know many people told me like you're a soccer player why do you want to be a, a artist mm -hmm. it's like because i want to and then when i'm an artist when i'm a, gr a grammy winning artist they'll be like why do you want to be an architect because mm -hmm. i want to mm -hmm. and then i'll be a architect very successful architect and be like why do you want to be a speaker because i want to mm -hmm. like it was just be like I'll never stop. That's why I always say I'm a Rolling Stone because I'll never stop just going through different dreams, different places. I'll just keep going until Building I Building them up and knocking them down. Exactly. So that's why even even on the EP, last EP.